Alright, hey guys, so today we will be doing a top 7 best cities ranking list. So if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, and enable post notifications if you if you do enjoy. So yeah, let's begin. And also, I'm recording this video on the 6th of uh, October. And this video will be out. This video will be out on the 10th. I'm recording this, uh... I'm recording this four days in advance because I actually updated my video schedule. So it'll be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, let's get into the slideshow, I guess. <clears throat> Before we start that, I need to clear my throat. <laughs> So, number seven, we start at Fayetteville, Arkansas. And actually, I left a little bit of photos up here of the actual town up here. So then, I will read out this. This fast-growing metro area in Arkansas has been long been a strong contender in the past places to live ranking. And this year is no different. A low cost of living compared with household income, strong population growth due to net migration, and relatively steady job market all contribute to Fayetteville's ranking at number 7 in 2022. Actually, actually, a lot of towns in the U.S. are named Fayetteville. Because the only ones I know, the only Fayetteville I know is in North Carolina. <laughs> Fayetteville area residents spend just 20.56% of the median household income on housing expenses. Also, you can read that out if you want to. Met their metro population is 526,101. The median home price is $203,150. And their average annual salary is $50,000 or $50,470. And actually, I used a filter to actually back, uh, mute background noise because my parents are watching something in the background. So, yeah. So, number six. So, at number six, we have Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina. Oh, we're in North Carolina now. Just like I said about Fayetteville, North Carolina. But Fayetteville, North Carolina is actually not on this list. Maybe surprising. The Raleigh and Durham metro area continues to be an attractive place for the people to relocate thanks to its affordability and job market. Research, technology, education, and healthcare are consistently grow growing industries in the area. The Raleigh and Durham metro area falls from its 2021 spot at number two on the overall best places to live list in large part due to its lower ranking for desirability. But that doesn't mean people have stopped moving into the metro area. From 2016 to 2021, the Raleigh and Durham metro area grew by 5.75% due to net migration according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Metro population, 1 million. 999, 253. Median home price is 369,000. Their average people, people in Raleigh and Durham have an average annual salary of $59,174. Let's move on to number five. At number five, we have San Jose, California. Best known for its key role in the tech industry is the capital of Silicon Valley. San Jose jumps 31 spots this year to the rank to rank the number five best place to live in the U.S. living in the U.S. living comfortably in San Jose requires a big paycheck, but the plethora of high-paying jobs mean that's not a problem for many residents. In addition, San Jose high school students rank the highest out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the U.S. for college readiness, and the metro area ranks second for overall well-being. Their metro population is 1 million, just like Raleigh and Durham, their medium home price is one million as well, it looks like. And people that live in San Jose have an average annual salary of ninety-three thousand. That's a that's a bunch of dollars. And actually we now have Boulder, Colorado. I need to clear my throat again. <coughs> 
After ranking number one out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the U.S. for two years, Boulder drops to number four. Boulder has a strong job market and gets high marks for quality of life. Boulder's high school education ranks second for for college readiness behind San Jose. Though like San Jose, Boulder is a pricey place to live, with the cost of living that requires 27.26 of the median household income. Boulder residents enjoy a high quality of life with the mountains at their doorstep, which is probably the Rocky Mountains, and an average annual salary of $70,000. And actually, that's included there. We don't need to write, write up the average annual salary. Their, so their median house home price is $528,000, and their metro population is 24000 So yeah, let's move on to the next one. So now we have Green Bay, Wisconsin, and actually that's the Green Bay Packers uh, stadium right there. As you can see, the, oh, I moved to number four for some reason. <laughs> that's actually where the Green Bay Packers actually play, even though I've never... I've never heard of them before. <laughs> I think I have. I'm just, <laughs> just joking. Number three, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Best known as the hometown of the Packers NFL team. Just like I said, Green Bay is situated roughly 100 miles north of Milwaukee. In the best, in the best places to live ranking, Green Bay scores highest for its low cost of living compared to the area's median house, household income. Green Bay residents just spend 20.3% of the median house income on rent and mortgage payments, along with additional costs, including taxes and utilities. Their metro population is greater than 20,000, their median house home price is 181,000, and their average annual salary is $50,000. Number 2. Colorado Springs Long tied with the likes of Honolulu and other popular vacation destinations in the U.S. for desirability, Colorado Springs stands alone as the most desirable place to live in 2022. Steady population growth due to net migration and a constant and consistently strong job market boost Colorado Springs to the number two spot in the best places to live ranking this year. However, the climbing cost of living has diminished the metro area's affordability, with residents spending 25.96 of the area's median household income on housing expenses. Metro population is 735000 medium home price is 455000 and average annual salary is 55000 which is actually average for like most cities in the U.S., I think, like around $50,000 at like near 100000 and finally, number one, Huntsville, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> Even though I live in Delaware, <laughs> it's not like I live in Alabama. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I don't live in Alabama. I was just singing up for fun. <laughs> Huntsville rises from number three in 2021 to the number one best place to live in the U.S in 2022 to 2023 thanks to a strong job market market and low cost of living a low combi a winning combination for many people looking to relocate this northern alabama metro area is the third most affordable place to live out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the united states and is home to many companies focused on science technology engineering and math which contributes to a higher average annual salary for the local population. And it's still around 50,000, 50, like, like average places. Their metro population is 464,000, their median home price is 192,000, and their average annual salary is 58,000. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, ranking, ranking list. If you do enjoy it, Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any more of my content. And goodbye, everyone!